I had a customer send in a tombstone figure and he was looking to achieve continuous curvature or C2 curvature from tangent surfaces. The reason for attaining continuous curvature in this situation is to avoid having a line on a plastic mold. You can't achieve C2 curvature on tangent faces or a line turning into an arc. Tangent faces, by definition, are C1 curvature. I tried taking the initial sketch and using a fit spline to make the line continuous. As you can see, using zebra stripes from the evaluate tab, there is still a defined line. It appears as C1 or tangent curvature. One effective method was to use the existing geometry as a master sketch to be a guideline for a spline. I will start by making a sketch on the same plane as the master sketch. Then I will make a single spline around the outside of the master sketch. Typically, I make endpoints of the splines vertical or horizontal where I can. Let's assume the tombstone shape is a plastic mold that covers electronical components. The dimensions in the master sketch are required for all the components to fit inside the model. Once the adjustments to the spline are done, let's add the final line to close the contour. When we extrude the shape and turn on zebra stripes, we can see C2 curvature. Also turning on the curvature, we can see a smooth transition from the arc to the flat surface. Since there are no dimensions controlling this line, using a master sketch ensures the components are driven by dimensions. I hope this was a helpful tech tip. Check out some of the links on the next page if you are interested in more surfacing content or training. Mm -hmm.